Okay, class. This is Mrs. Creed, and I am not going to be in for the next few days, and I wanted to share the lesson with you up close and personal so that you'll have a good understanding of what I want you to do with our very first lesson that I hope you will think will be fun, easy, and yes, you will get a grade. Um, we are going to be creating a name design. And what you're going to do is illustrate your name using three-dimensional lettering, which I'm going to show you in a second how to do, okay? And then those letters of your name will be in color. Now, you can write your name horizontally or you can do it vertical. That's going to be completely up to you on how you want to create your name design. I went ahead and wrote my name in vertical and then kind of let the letters bounce around a little bit. And uh, then for the background, we're going to have fun using different line qualities but we're going to also learn about cross-hatching and how to create dark and light values. So this drawing actually was captured as a video. And so we're going to get to see how I started it, how I finished. And then after that, the sub will pass out, Mrs. White will pass out the paper. And you will get started with writing your name out in pencil. And don't get worried about making a mistake because you can always erase, get it the way you want it first. Okay. So, let's look and see how I started this. Okay. So, in the beginning, I wrote out the, the, my, the letters to my last name, but I didn't make them three-dimensional yet. I just wrote them out made them nice and big where they had space in between them. That may take a little practice for you, but you'll get it. What you could always do is just write your name and then make lines around the outside shape of your name. That's an easy way to do it too. The next thing I'm going to do is make the letters 3D, and that's by taking a pencil and bringing the line up at an angle and then coming up and down and then back a back um, into the to the letter. So I kind of angle up. Let's take a look at a few more letters. Okay, so here we see it with the D on the side here. And so I'm just showing the right side of my letters. Again, I angled up, came up and around with the E. And it'll take a little practice. You may erase and kind of try to figure out how to make your the letters to your name look three-dimensional and look right. And of course, just raise your hand and Miss White will get to you as quick as she can. But try on your own, because that's how you learn. Okay, I'm going to continue now. Now, um, I started making lines, and let me back up just a little bit. Um, I'm going to start to create lines for my background. So I can use wavy lines, I can do vertical lines, and here I just started off started off with wavy lines and let them look like they were going behind the lettering, that actually my name was placed in the front and there's a background. So let the lines be continuous. Let me continue. Okay, and here I'm showing you a little bit about coloring in some of the letters, and you can blend going from dark to light. Here I used a darker purple. And I'm starting to use the, the lines as cross hatching. You can see where the lines are crossing each other. And let me continue. And I'm just going to continue making more lines and just starting to let it grow. Here I was putting some spirals in there and again just cross hatching and then I went ahead and made different spiral lines going around and around some big some small but I had them fit inside the shapes 
you'll start to come up with all kinds of different ways to make lines. We have our little uh, dash lines from thick to thin. So you've got to think a little bit and problem solve. Also, you want to think about the word contrast. How do you make something go from dark to light? And you can see here where I've done some cross hatching and then the lines have opened up. And that creates almost like a shadow behind the lettering. Okay, I've started coloring in some of the letters, leaving them maybe a little bit of white if you want to, or you can take a darker green if you're coloring in something. Think, okay, how can I, how can I create a little value where I'm using a darker shade? Again, some of this is going to be, you know, on your own, where you got to kind of come up with some of this, the designs on your own and think for yourself. Hopefully I'm giving you a good foundation that you can kind of understand where to go with this. Now this is a portfolio project. So you'll be working on this for about three days, which means that it's going to be worth about 60% of your grade. Portfolio projects are big projects. At the end of the nine weeks, you'll leave my classroom with about eight projects that will be matted and placed in your portfolio. So you want to take your time and take pride in your work, and you also want to stay focused. If you're talking to your neighbor and you're not focused on what you're doing, you won't get it done, and then you'll feel like you're falling behind. So let's start our very first lesson off on the right foot or left foot, and let's look a little bit more at some of the design here. Here I went ahead and I made some little raindrops, started off small and got large, did some wavy lines, spirals. Let me continue. And I'm just trying to come up with different patterns, different ways to make dark and light value by crossing the lines in different directions. Try to be real neat up against the, the edges. These are the edges right here of, of, a, of one of the shapes that I made for the background. And notice how I'm real neat with the cross hatching and staying within the boundaries. That'll make the image look really sharp. Okay. Well, I'm really excited to see your finished piece. And of course, at the end, I want you to sign it, okay, just like I did. I always sign my work. And there's my name, Heidi, Creed. Well, I didn't write Creed, but I just wrote Heidi on that one. And then I dated it 2014. But I'm excited to see your first portfolio project, which will be due at the end of Friday. So work hard. If you finish early, you can always do another one or do uh, somebody else's name design that they can place up in their bedroom or whatever. It's just really cool to celebrate your last name, your first name, a friend's name. But first, let's do your name, and it can be your last or your first. I'm looking forward to seeing your first portfolio lesson. Thank you for working so hard with Mrs. White, and I will be back on Monday. Bye for now.